Hey homies, welcome back to Captain of Industry. Now I did state in one of my previous Transport Fever 2 episodes, I think it was the spring uh, spring update series we're doing, that I was going to start a new playthrough of Captain of Industry. A proper playthrough this time. The first two episodes were merely just for uh, checking the game out. We're not going to go New Haven, we're going to go to the beach this time. They do have a little bit more resources, but straight off the bat, there's nowhere to put a, uh, a docks. Uh, why do I know this? Because I've test, I've done a little test and you have to actually build a bit of a landing out somewhere uh, to put a docks in. Sorry, I've got a little bit of this, a, bit, a little bit of the sniffles at the moment. I just had a flu jab. Uh, that's a flu needle, uh, booster, injection, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's going to be a challenge in itself straight off the bat. We're going to go this... Uh, this is the beach one, right? There's some other good maps here, but we're going to check out the beach because a lot of people are doing New Haven. We started off on New Haven. Uh, it's a pretty good starter map, but we're going to go to the beach. A little bit more challenging uh, straight off the bat. You get some more resources, though, however. If you look here at all the resources, let's take, uh, let's take um, here, this oil, for instance, right? We go back to the New Haven. Only 80k of uh, oil uh, on here. 92k of crude, right? Uh, same goes for all of it. You can see the difference. Only 12k here, 25k, and so on and so forth. You get the you get the gist of it, okay? You get the you get the overall layout. This is probably a bigger island than what this one is. Plus, you've got this one over here. I'm thinking it might be quite good for a uh, build up a residential area, depending on the resources we've got there. Anyway, okay, let's go game difficulty. We're gonna leave it at sailor because we're still not we're still not gurus at the game. What's this? Oh, that's that's. That's map selection. That's game difficulty ham. Okay, that's it. Let's get into the episode. Ah, uh, seed. What do you want to run a seed? Uh, let's. Ooh, I took a screenshot. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's run the seed of. Um, let's call it. Um, uh, what do you want to call this one, guys? How about homies? We'll call it homies because you're all my homies. Right, so first things first, things are all pretty much the same as we had started out last time. Abandoned communication station near the dock can be deconstructed, light it up, build a research lab, we need to do research. We're going to be a little bit smarter with our research this time. In in We're going to go like we were before, but we might just try and get a couple of things before other things. Uh, and yeah, we'll keep going with that. And it says build a trading dock. Now... If we just have a look here, first thing to do is have a little tour on the island. Let's bring up the resources and see where all that stuff is. Sand. We know there's plenty of sand there. We're looking at it. We've got iron just here. We've got uh, limestone just here. Uh, and you, if, you, if you're if ever wondering what, what's what in the zoo, because sand and limestone can be quite the same, you can just click on these and it shows you what's what. What's what in the spot, okay? Oil just here, so that's not a bad spot for our oil straight off. Uh, have we got more limestone? No, we don't. We've got coal here. We've got plenty of trees around, that's for sure. Um, we've got um, some copper uh, up here. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff that's accessible early on. Okay, what we... Oh, no, we've got water, water zones too. Now, last time out, I thought that uh, this was more for fertility areas for water uh, i don't think it is quite for that much it's more ground water for what we're going to use probably later on all right so let's also now check a couple of things that i saw well, not a couple of things but let's just check uh, we can't yet because we don't have it unlocked but basically you can see our little port in here there is nowhere for us to put a docks because the docks actually span like from here they span about the width of this screen uh, that you're seeing right here. So they're quite big and they, they require a lot of room. With a lot of these, we're, we're caught up with a lot of mountains here. All these ranges on the outskirts or these mountains that cover us. So there's not a lot of areas where we can put uh, a docks around. And if we put it out over the back here, we have to get up. We have to get up on all these ledges. So we have to build up that. We have to build a bridge across here. So on and so forth. You get the gist. We'll get to that when we get to that, though. We'll, we'll have a little bit more of that. Let's turn this off now. 
Let's turn the overlays off and let's get building, hey? Let's get cracking now that we understand the game a little bit more. As I did last time, I'm going to keep the uh, I'm going to keep the research down this way, closer to this area. Once again, I'm going to make sort of a logistics area here. I'm going to probably set out more of a industrial area here. Maybe we'll put a farm in here just to keep the people, the, appease the people's appetites. Uh, and obviously we're going to have oil industry and stuff over here as well. Um, yeah. I'm just wondering whether that's a smart thing to do. wonder if we should set the industry up on this side and transport coal this way. Uh, because a lot of vehicles will use, will come and fill up directly from the pumps over here. All right, we'll, we'll get this in anyway and we'll, we'll decide from there. Let's go about. Uh, let's give our let's give our docks a bit of room because we don't. We've got to run oil pumps in and uh, put potentially other buildings in around here that might have to that might have to help out later on. So I think we give ourselves a bit of a square here. We'll put the research facility here. Okay, that's done. Let's. Uh, let, oh, we are playing, so that's good. What else are we going to do straight off the bat? We're going to put in some more housing now, just ready to go. We're also going to put in a waste collection. We're going to put this on. Uh, we don't want the waste right next to the food too much, but we'll put it over here. And then first things first, we're gonna use, we're gonna set ourselves up a dumping zone. And I know this now in preparation for what we have to do later. Uh, take that off. Give ourselves a dumping zone. We want to go flat, please. Now, I think this is going to be the 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 easiest point to get out to the furthest point. We're gonna have to dump a lot of stuff out here. So we can build up. Uh, what are we looking at there? I think we'll put the docks like. Basically, we're going to have to run it like this out to here. We'll run it too wide to start with. Okay. How are we looking there? We might want to go up another height, please. Yeah, like that height. It's got to be, I think. Okay. That's the height we want that at. We want it flat all the way is that flat i can't quite see i think that is flat yeah that's better that should be running flat off the top there now okay so if we zoom out we look at that now that's where our <laughs> that's where our rubbish our dirt everything's going to get dumped so we can build a bit of a keyway up um, oh, we might need to go a touch further, hey? Okay, that's going to take a lot of resources to get that built up, that pier. It is what it is. Uh, we have to just get cracking. Right, next thing, we know what we have to do. We have to get, um, our industry. Let's get coal makers set up. Well, most of our trees are over here, so we're going to start over here with the coal. Um, let's put the coal maker... Coal maker, burn breaker. Let's give it a rotate. We'll try and utilize the squares a little bit better. Um, do we want to set up the, I'm just thinking in terms of, we've got iron coming from this way. We'll have copper coming from this way. <sighs> I think we're better off just setting it. We might just set up a bit of an industry in the corner here. Okay. Let's go blast furnace. Okay. Hmm. What now? Well, just give me a second. We're not on f exactly flat ground there either. Okay, we'll set up over here. We'll, we'll put it about this spot just here. Okay. Now we'll go metal collector. Where are you going to go? You're going to go... We'll give enough room so we can um, get vehicles in and around if we have to. But let's get our pipes in. Okay, so that's good there. And then last but not least is getting the conveyor systems in. This one here, thanks. Molten channel. Molten, molten, molten. Now... If we want to go up, uh, I swear it's E. 
Ah, that's what we want. Let's... Okay, can we come down? Why is the down and uh, such not working? Okay, that's just, just not happening for me. Can we now come up? Ah, it doesn't really want to, does it? You guys are driving right in the way. Mate, you've parked your trucks right in the way here. I can't do anything. Okay. You guys are not helping me at all. They've all parked right in the way, so I can't build anything. That's what's been going on. Let's get trees chopping down then. In the meantime, so we'll start designating. We'll get all these trees lined up, ready to go. Okay, you can do that. You can have... Uh, yeah, you. We'll designate you one of those. Can all you vehicles... I wish there was a way to click and drag these vehicles and get them to move. Can I get you to move, buddy? No. Okay. Let's let's get something else built then so we make them all disappear. <laughs> let's get the building something over here. Actually, we'll, we can copy this. Copy. Uh, and we'll build this one. Uh, we'll build this one here. What do you want it here? Yeah, okay. You guys go and scurry off and do that for me, please. One thing, that is that is one thing I'd love to be able to happen is for them to just disappear. While they disappear, I'm going to hit pause. Right, now we can put our systems in. Because that's quite infuriating, the way they just park right in the middle and get in the way. Okay, now we can set up our system. Uh... No, you don't like that for some reason, do you? Can I not have you... Hmm, that's annoying because I, I feel like I should be able to have what I want. <laughs> you know? Also, that's horrendous. What's my delete button? This one. Let's get this looking... Let's get this looking... Symmetrical. Thank you. Okay, so they just have to drive around these for the time being, I think. That's just how it is. Right, pipes are in now anyway, so that's good. We're starting to get some ch trees chopped. You need a uh, exhaust stacky thingy majimbi. Majim Rotate that. Okay, good. Get it? Got it? Good. Right, so they should be well underway. Now let's look at research now that you're built up. Let's start new research. So, let's get our farm done. Start that. Let's get our construction stuff done, queued up. And then I want to go... Yeah, give me the trading dock. Purely so I can start building up some storage. Then I want to have vehicles and maintenance. Then give me the power and maintenance because we're definitely going to need that. Not going to worry about the beacon so much now. Basic diesel. Give me that then. Then concrete production. Then I want this storage. Synthetic rubber. Copper refinement. Ship dock repair, we need to get the beacon then, okay, and then that. That's our queue, okay? That's the order I want things for building. 
okay and then we we're getting into the higher tier stuff over here right but by then we should have a pretty well established um infrastructure going on and storage facility and you'll see when i get there hello hanky hanky's just popped up right in my face <laughs> for some weird reason uh so let's expedite all that now let's start cranking this up let's start getting production and then hit this and start recycling for me okay so they'll st we'll start getting some stuff smelted belted and welted that's not things that's not things that normally get said together but they rhyme so i'm taking it all right first thing we want to do once we can is be able to make a uh we don't have the ability to have an excavator yet but we're going to get coal production underway we don't even have that ability yet though do we no we don't bugger 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 on toast let's see if we've had some looks like we're starting to get a bit of a pile trash here no that's unless they're filling that bit in that looks like trash to me there okay our pier is going to be made of dirt and trash put it that way and that's a big pier all right it's just what it is. it is what it is at the moment and i think eventually like i said we're going to move this uh starting facility off the beach and over onto this island let's just check the resources over here while we're waiting so they look like they have what gold oh so we might put a little like uh gold town gold rush we'll call it over here uh later on might be quite interesting to have a little gold rush town right how are we doing here now you guys off and running and they're off and racing <laughs> come on what do we got uh wasteland dumping done research lab is done iron smelting done tools tutorial okay done basic farming we're done we're ready for that okay we're gonna get our farm in over here nice little spot just here ready to go for, looks like a good spot for farms okay nice little backdrop for them get them as close as they can and bish bash bosh in it goes so they'll get busy on that all right what do we got construction is uh not far off the bat what's is that this one here which is good because we need to start getting some of this cranked up as well and then we really need that storage so i can start getting stuff stored and stocked up and stockpiled for our supplies over here okay uh the main goal for us early on is to get this peer system set up and to get this uh this dock repaired and, and get ourselves stocked up with some good supplies ready to go we're not going to, as I said, workers are going to be a thing later on when we, we start to get a lot more concrete industries built up, that sort of stuff. We're going to need, need a lot of workers. I don't want to just flourish in and bang a uh, beacon because a beacon will just keep influx of people coming in and we'll start getting, um, we'll start getting uh, overcrowded, overpopulated and uh, we'll get uh, homeless living around the place which is going to be bad for our health and our unity and uh, we use unity a lot like a, like a bit of a uh, commodity uh, okay so what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, if we hit the tab key you can actually over here is this island and we can uh, add six to our population that sort of stuff we can add six now right okay bang done right so we've got 41 workers up our sleeve at the moment and then later on when we need some more we can check in and we can get a couple more immigrants you will over time slowly get people come uh slowly i mean uh, compared to having a beacon but uh, it does happen right so we've got our construction our assembly unit up and ready to go now assembly units gonna be we can just put it next to this i suppose we could put two research facilities up and get things expedited a bit quicker just don't think i want to <laughs> yeah i don't really want to okay so let's hmm how do we want to do this let's put you here and let's get you a mate next to it i think about here okay and we're gonna have a heap of warehouses lined up each side of it so they're gonna be they're gonna be pulling from those warehouses and they're gonna be producing out into some other warehouses okay that's basically how that works do we have anything else for anything else no but the trading dock and the warehouses are almost up and ready to go 
it's it's important and vitally important we start getting these construction materials and so forth built up now uh, so we've got backlogs of them and, and we're not uh, we're not going to be struggling later okay all right come on guys you need to really get this cranking i wonder if we should just put in another research facility i guess we can pull it down later okay do it do it do it do it we'll, we'll have a look at it anyway if it's no good and it, and it uh, messes with our system then we won't do it but we can probably get two on the go I don't know if it, I don't know if two means things happen quicker uh, we've got uh, we've got the next thing up now let's check our research now okay so if we click on you it's working on vehicle mining work okay so i wonder if they actually multiply and work a little bit quicker now something we probably should have checked earlier right either way we've got storage systems now let's just hit play again for a sec Whoop. okay that i think that should just expedite things just a bit quicker in terms of research right so we've got an in and an out First one will go in line with this. Want to leave some room for some conveyors. You might want to hit the shift key for this one. So we're going to want logs. We're going to need facilities for logs. What do they take? Logs, iron, copper, rubber, cement, bricks, everything. All right, so let's get this sorted now. We need one here, one here. I'm thinking four on each to start but we'll just start with four there and then you guys are going to be making machine parts electronics so we need about another four over here don't we well let's just make them go like this we'll put one here here yeah and here okay do that for the moment all right straight off the bat you are going to be wood okay that is for wood now we use iron and wood so we want to get some iron in here please we want to get some concrete slabs i think don't we yes we do iron and then uh, we'll put you as rubber okay you are going to be turned into construction parts you will be electronics you are going to be machine parts and you are going to be vehicle parts okay right Gucci how are we looking down here now we're starting to struggle with the old um, construction parts so what do we need for that we need wood concrete slab and iron okay what have we got vehicles and mining is up next do we have anything else for the moment that we need to concern ourselves with just before we expedite that the docks the docks is what i want to show you guys okay let's have a look here when it comes to the docks okay if I, if I just put this here, you can see the actual width it needs. It needs so much space. It is ridiculous how much space this little docks needs. Okay. The other thing, you can put it out here. Not even out there really works, does it? Because of that, right? So that is why, if you, if you sat it sort of like on that, it would work. So that's why I'm trying to build it so it will sit over here somewhere and I'm just wondering do we need to go three wide I think we're gonna have to go another width oh bugger on toast uh, okay give me this give me this dumping right Oh, 
wonder if that will work. We'll have a look at that anyway. It might be just enough to get us out there and sorted. Okay. That is going to be a lot of dumping it has to do. So once we get the mining industry up, you can see they're starting to fill it up now. It's going to take a long while to fill that up, I think. Uh, but that's part of the game. We'll see how it goes. Otherwise, our other option is going to be, once we get the vehicles and maintenance, is to dig dig our way through here and, and level that out a bit. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. But once we get mining going, we might have a lot more trucks just feeding off to there. It's a, it's a risk. It is a big risk doing that, what I'm doing there. It could really slow down our playthrough. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. Right. We've got um, vehicles up now. Vehicle depot we'll put down here at the docks. Uh, we'll put it facing. Put the vehicle depot down here, will we? Or over here? Oh, wow. This is actually... It's, it's hard to know where you want to place stuff early on purely because you don't want to put things the wrong way. Okay, let's just put it this way attach it to that right and then what do we got mine tower let's get one of those in ASAP all right so this is going to go this way and we can start just chopping down trees purely for um, uh, wood and building okay let's also put this in put this in here okay Let's select your editable area and let's just go from right that for the moment. Thanks. Okay. Right. Um, once that's built up, perfect. We can start getting, let's get a couple of these out. We might need to get at least four. One, two, three. Uh, let's get three more of those and Let's get that kicked into gear, guys. Kick it into touch. Let's crank that up. Okay, I know it has no recipes. We could start making some of those and potentially some of these, please. We're going to need those more than other stuff, okay? Uh, in fact, we could just take you off that and put you on that one, okay? That's even better. Now, as this gets uh, demolished over time, you will see it start to come down, and, and it uh, does come down in, in size, definitely. All right, how are we doing there? We've got the tower up here. Once we get a vehicle out, we can start assigning these uh, mines. So, while that's happening, let's um, designate our actual mining territory zones here. We're pretty much just going to dig it out for what it is. Uh, um, so, we're going to start um, like this. We're just going to dig, dig, dig. Okay, give me that. Uh, I don't... Oh, no, we don't want that. 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 I don't want you digging down like that. Give me that F for flat, thanks. I just want you to dig... ...level for the moment and see how you go with that. Same with this. Uh, let's check your editable area, please. Let's go with... Um, give you that area for the moment let's add you and add you um, same thing we're just gonna go flat and straight across I think just to knock this straight through we'll even just go like that I think for the moment just see how you get on with that hopefully it doesn't complain too much about it uh, and we've got another one for you sign you guys Let's get rid of some of these. Assembly finished, trading dock finished, vehicles and mining done, done, done. Power and maintenance. All right, let's hit play again just for a second. Uh, hopefully, we can get you in here and you will start digging away. Excellent. So we can actually hit you and turn you off or pause you. We'll just do that. Okay, you don't need to be doing that anymore. And we can turn your, smoke, turn your stack off as well. We don't want your pollution. You can stick your pollution and jam it. Uh, power and maintenance, is that what we're up to? 
that's what we're up to next episode gang so pretty much we're we've basically set up and we're prepared we're ready to go we're gonna really crank out these uh these uh excavators do we want another excavator yeah i do now it might be it might quite hurt us in the uh, mechanical parts early on but we're gonna have to really work towards to getting that up but i really want to expedite mining getting a lot of product through uh we're gonna need to start getting um uh what is it called limestone because i think we utilize limestone for Oh, we don't have the production yet. We need one of those to start making rubber and, and uh, electronic parts and copper and all that sort of stuff. So we really have to get this expedited. We really need to get this docks underway. It is probably um, our main focus to get those docks so we can get our trading routes out, get this repaired, get the ship repaired so we can get out and about around the waters and start exploring a bit. Okay. You can see our island here. Beautiful little island of homies. Okay. <laughs> That's been it. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we are going to be kicking along with this series. You know, be prepared for it. It's going to be a tough slog here and there. I mean, even though we're on the easiest settings, I'm still learning the game. All right. Uh, and, I, and I'm not, I'm not going to go and um, just... Look, I, I've watched other people play it, and, and I'm not going to go and watch too much of it because I kind of want to... The, the joy of playing a game is struggling through things and learning together and figuring it out and and punching through the tough moments uh and uh, and succeeding so that's hopefully what we're going to get out of this if not i fail uh, and we'll just go back to lonely pines and farming sim okay well they're still going but uh you get what i mean all right stay tuned for the next episode stay tuned for some more transport fever 2 and farming simulator plenty happening on the channel at the moment stay safe wherever you are stay glued to your screen and as always, gang, get out of here. All right, are you digging or are you not digging? You've got nowhere to take that. Let's just sort you out. I think you can take this, thanks. You two can take this, thanks. In fact, we'll stop taking from that and that. Okay, that should get them going. See you later.